It is the geometric mean moving average. Sounds complicated, doesn't it? But it's not. So welcome to the Indicator Profile Series video for Wednesday, August 30th, 2023. And those who are fans of the Indicator Profile Series probably already know when they see the word moving average in the title here, what type of indicator this is going to be. So since we already pretty much know that, let's go ahead and get into things. If you're new, we talk and do things a certain way here. You will not be able to just cherry pick indicators and take them with you and create an awesome system. That's just not how anything works. What you need to do is go to nononsenseforex.com, read the first page, watch that first video, and get caught up to the rest of us. It takes time. If you're looking for shortcuts, this isn't it. Do things right and come back to us. You're going to love what you're about to see. It's worth it. For the rest of us who have been through the ringer, let's go ahead and look at the specs for the geometric mean moving average. The year is going to be 2012. Well within the 1996 and on threshold we like to see here on the channel. This is of course going to be a baseline. It's just a baseline, nothing too special about it. And as far as exits goes, we don't like using baselines for exits most of the time. Feel free to try, but it's just not something I would do myself. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is going to be a different color scheme than you're used to seeing on here, but some of you do use the gray background on MT4, so if you do, welcome home. This bright yellow thing here is your geometric mean moving average, and you know how we do things here. When price crosses and closes above that baseline, that is your signal to go long, and when it does the opposite, that is your signal to go short. Now, you might be noticing something right now with this moving average, and you might be thinking, wow, that's pretty tight. And it is. The settings are very fast on this one. The, the default settings are. And when you do that, you end up with a, a very tight baseline. And when you end up with a tight baseline, you end up with a lot of signals. And we don't really like that, especially when they're close together. Because that's, that means they're probably losses. And we strive to eliminate losses here at No Nonsense Forex. So uh, you're going to notice quite a discrepancy in the settings uh, once we get to the results. But we need to get into those. So let's do that. Before we do that, understand that I have a lot of sirens going on outside right now. That's not on your end, that's on mine. And they just won't go away, so we're going to go ahead and deal with them right now. But also understand that the testing could have been done recently, might have been done a couple months ago. Sometimes we sandbag these, so there's that. And also, it doesn't really matter how this thing does. It only matters how it does in your system. So if you see great results, don't get too excited. If you see lackluster results, don't get too down. You need to test this yourself, always. And what you're also getting down below in the description, because we hook you up, you're getting the link to my automation blog that has an embedded video on how to test this yourself on the MT4 strategy tester, just like we do here. You're also going to get a link to the indicator blog on Stonehill Forex. shows you all the tweak settings that we don't show you here, uh, all the coding, all the methodology, all the history behind the indicator, all that good stuff. You're also going to get Dan's YouTube channel, because Dan always puts out a supplementary video to the video you're watching right now. So if you want to see more, you want to see how this thing moves in real time, that's where you go. Uh, you'll get Dan's secondary email address if you'd like to submit an indicator yourself for profiling here on the channel. We've done three already. We will be doing more. And then uh, a link to the indicator library where you can download this indicator and every indicator we have ever done on this series. It's pretty great. Now let's see if the results are great. Moving in to the Euro USD for the geometric mean moving average. Pretty strong. I like these numbers. I like the win-loss ratio. I like the number of trades on the daily. I like everything about it. And you're getting even more on the four hour. Really, really good place to start. Let's see if this continues. Moving on to gold. Eh, kind of does, kind of doesn't. Now we couldn't really, we couldn't even get it above sea level on the four hour. Um, but that just happens sometimes. Now on the daily. 17.84%. It's certainly not the highest we've done. Some of these have gotten into the 40s. I do wonder, and I know a lot of you guys keep track of these on a spreadsheet somewhere. I do wonder how this ranks in terms of baselines, though. Might be on the higher end. So I think for all of you gold traders out there, this is still worth testing. For some reason, I don't know why I'm thinking this, but I, I keep thinking that the ones that did really, really well were confirmation indicators and not so much baselines. But I could be wrong. Either way, run it through the tester. What do you have to lose? Um, S&P 500, uh, decent for sure for the S&P 500. Not over the top great. 
But again, you might have to average down a little bit for baseline. So this could still be worth testing in your system, especially on the four hour. That's a really good starting place, I think, for the S&P 500. And we know a lot of the indices sometimes have a tendency to move together. Um, so whatever you're testing it out there, whether it's the DAX or the Nikkei, give it a whirl. Uh, and then Bitcoin, eh, I mean, those are good, but we've seen a lot better here. Again, if you're trying to upgrade your baseline, maybe give it a try. But overall, you know, we've certainly seen a lot better on this show. And that will do it. A quick one today, but we have so much going on in this channel. We have the Trading Psychology Podcast every Monday, Indicator Profile Series video every Wednesday, Blog on Thursday, and then the Investment Podcast, 10 Minute Contrarian, every Saturday. We got you covered. If you would like to be good at trading and just good at finance overall, this is where you need to be. Subscribe, hit the bell, don't miss anything. We'll see you soon. Go get it.